What time is it? It's JRPG time. Uh, <laughs> part three of the finale of the volume two of Hat Goo. This time, it's got it's got to be this time, right? It's it's it can't not be. Oh, I. Uh, can we go right now? I have to come here to. I remembered to bring party members this time. I also went and I upgraded. I've switched out my equipment and I customized everything so I got Hase all uh, powered up or whatever. I just had to sit here for 15 minutes before I started the recording, just going through shop menus. I also went. I also bought a whole bunch of of one use spells. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to, what, what did he say when I get here? Uh, check the stone pillars. It's in one of the stone pillars. Okay. He said. Um. It's no good. I don't have. Guess I'll head back to town. Do I seriously need data seeds? <sighs> Why don't you just tell me to get the data? Okay. Please make it this one. No, it's not this one. What about this one? Yeah, go ahead, put that in there. Do I need to, do I have to hit all the stone pillars? In order to act. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's log out and, and so right away it starts me with this. It's like, okay, you check your email. It tells you to go do something. And then you go, do, you go to do it, and it's like, oh, actually, you can't do this yet. This thing that I just told you you have to go do. Please hurry. It said in the email. Oh, also, Audley and Pi are fine. They're recovering. <laughs> they're in the hospital or something. They're but they woke up. Let's see right here. Uh, this is the email that I got. They're awake. Investigation. They didn't even see. I I didn't even have the area word, so it's not even like oh well. But if you were actually playing the game, not let's play like a spastic and going through going through it as fast as you can just for the story and like actively. I honestly would not still be playing this game if I wasn't let's playing it. <laughs> I would have given up after that. Maybe, probably. I mean, the story is fun. I'm not gonna pretend the story isn't fun. Need to go investigate an item. But the, everything, the game, everything about the gameplay is not. And I know it, it's, it's that broken record thing again. But what do you expect me to do when it just sent me on an email and it said, "Okay, you're about to go fucking fight Ova and get prepared. You're gonna." He says he's tri edge. So be ready. Uh, my part. <laughs> I have to remember to invite party members again. Right. You're a healer. And you're level 83. <laughs> uh, it sends me, when it sends me to a place and I go there and it says actually you can't go there yet. I mean, maybe I could unlock these area words independently. Individually if I just went to if I read every single forum post and responded to every single email in the correct way and everything, maybe it's possible. Somehow I doubt it. Somehow I think that the developers actually got it in their heads that it's a good idea to say, okay, let's send him to this place that he's been before. He's been to this place. He knows it exists. The data seed place. That's where uh, Alcade died, wasn't it? So we're sending him to a place he's been before. He knows about the data seeds stuff. Just so that he can tell him again that he doesn't have the data seeds he needs. And here's an area where you can find more data seeds. Man, fuck. Fuck off. Fuck off with this shit. No, I don't want to talk to you. Shut up, Bo. You're healing, right? <laughs> You're set to healing? Yes. Set him to free will. I don't know why they're set to specific things by default. It's these these uh, strategies. It's they're better off set to free will most of the time, unless free will or healing. Rage just makes them rage. It's not useful. Maybe in boss battles. Maybe in specific situations. But like again, not to spin that broken record. 
I mean, actually to spin that broken record and compare it to Tails, but a lot of Tails, most Tails games have, like, much more involved, like, granular strategy options where you can tell them. I mean, some of them have them more simple. Probably at least a couple of them have them as simple. I don't know. I know there are three options. Some of them only have options, but I don't like vague options. I think Tales of Symphonia might only have vague options, but it's got like four, <laughs> not three, I think. And Tales of Symphonia is the one I compare this most closely to because it came out like three years before this once. I think that's the fairest. I think that's the fairest comparison, considering just how dated these games were. I've tried. If you're, if you've watched through all of these videos, you <laughs> might have picked up. I've talked about, I've talked about the first set of games, the first four or three. I think there's four that came out a, a few years in like 2002 or something. Those are really bad. Those, <laughs> like. I talk about this being one of the worst, uh, one of the worst action JRPGs I've ever played. But uh, uh, I say that in the context of all JRPGs. I'm talking about the Dot Hack series because Hack the Goo. This game is a major step up from the first, from the first four, from the first. It's really one game. All of these, I assume that the first, it makes it, f it makes it feel more hopeful to go back and try them. Possibly, I won't, I won't ever go back and try the first. Maybe if they re-release them, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not wasting emulator, sp emulator time. I'm not emulating those games again. Oh boy, it's like if this battle system was slower, because. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it had the quick, the quick skill menu. If it did, it was clunkier. It was a lot. It was a lot more of the opening up the full menu, picking your skills. Damn it! I just sold a bunch. I di I didn't sell enough shit. I guess I sold too many items. I sold a bunch of stuff, items for money, and I sold a couple of equipment. And then I got, I got uh, distracted probably. Oh, I was about to sell a bunch of equipment, but then I was like, oh, I guess I need to change out Haseo's equipment, don't I? Haseo's on some old equipment. Okay, let's just do this. Let's do this here. <laughs> I always forget I need to change my, uh, I need to change my skills, my, uh, my awakening before I do it on a flying enemy, so it's, it seems fine this time. It seems, it seems not that big of an issue. But also, just the first game, the first game, the first one game that was split into four for profits <laughs> uh, was, uh, was also just like the general attacking was slower, the movement was slower, everything was slower, and it was dated for like 2001 or 2002 or anything, whenever it came out. I think that one came out before Tales of Symphonia, so it's not fair to compare it to it. <laughs> Even if the even if it wasn't like, oh boy, there's contemporary just like this game. There's contemporaries with the first game that are just in every way, technologically and design-wise, better <laughs> better than the first set of games. Other than probably the story, the story is intriguing. <laughs> just uh, story is probably more intriguing in the first one than this one, but I didn't get that far into it. The main character is a lot less. Uh, the main character, as far as I remember from the few hours I played it, was the main character is just more... The, it's the same sort of someone's in a coma. But, uh... I th but it wasn't someone I, he played the game with was in a coma, I think. It was like someone he knew in real life who played the game was in a coma. So he's playing the game to figure it out or so, I don't know. I don't remember too much but they didn't seem as uh, much of a whiny little bitch as Haseo <laughs> that much was true 
<laughs> but boy, if, if, if you think I've been complaining through this game, if I had tried to let's play that, I've been complaining the whole ways through. I probably would have had to edit every episode. And a more involved edits than me just saying, okay, I'll see you in a couple minutes when I run through this floor real quick in silence, and then I can slice cut. I can cut on exact keyframes. That's why there's always a couple seconds before I say that, and then a couple seconds when it comes back in before I say something. Up to a couple seconds. Because I'm only slicing on keyframes so that I don't have to actually render the video. <laughs> I'll crush you! Anytime I have to do anything more involved than just slice upon a couple keyframes, then I have to sit and watch my computer render a video for... Well, I was gonna say half an hour, but that's when I'm making like 10 minute videos. This would be at least a 2-3 hour render on an episode of Hack Goo. That's not really tenable. <laughs> for my lifestyle right now. I need this computer to work, to do things that make me money. I can't, I can't afford to just let this computer sit here while I render JRPG time. Especially because I have to go into Windows to, have to go into Windows to do involved edits. This I just do in a Vitamux. A Vitamux cut on keyframes, leave it on copy. And it, it'll just, it's basically just saving the video. It's, it takes as long as it takes to write it to the hard drive, essentially. Do a little optimization step. Uh, short videos are easy to edit. I can I can more easily justify the time it takes to edit a short video, edit and render a short video. I don't, <laughs> I don't normally. Unless there's a real good reason for me to. This is... This is a nightmare. This is... I, I was... I was expecting a dungeon... I, I just... I'm coming to terms with the fact... That this is a dungeon. That this is one of several dungeons. I guess I was kind of worried I was gonna have to do some side quests. I was like, I hope there's a dungeon before I go have to fight Ovon because if I fight Ovon right away and he's not, as long as he's not, uh, this is a piece of cake. As infuriating as uh, what's his face was Sakaki. Though Bo is a little bit tougher than Otley, hopefully too. I might have to do some from some quest shop stuff after the credits roll, but it's looking like that's not going to be the issue. Not, I don't think we're going to have that issue because uh, the, there's at least at le I'm probably going to have to do at least two dungeons. Maybe there won't be a dungeon right before Ovon, but I have a I don't know. Maybe there will be two data seeds here. Hopefully, there will be two data seeds here. If there's not two data seeds here, then. I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> where's why? Where's the eye of things? I came here to. <laughs> it's, I came here to g kill eye of things and get data seeds. Uh, I'm getting deja vu. I think this is exactly what happened the last time. It made me go get data seeds. Was it sent me to a dungeon and I just had to fight a bunch of regular enemies and I was like, I just want data seeds, man. Why Why are, why are you putting me in these hallways with uh, enemy encounters I can't walk around? I could use smoke screen. I'm gonna use a smoke screen on the next encounter. There's another encounter in this hallway. I'm not doing another encounter in this hallway. Fuck you. I'll use the smoke screen. <laughs> Ah. Uh, <sighs> fucked up. I didn't. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Come on, give me the ring khaki so I can switch my weapon back. I know I can go into the menu, but. It's not gonna kill it. 
Come on, just die. Thank you. And it filled up my morale bars, so I have even more incentive to just use a smoke screen on the next. It's a, it's a small hallway with two enemy encounters. I managed to walk right around them. <laughs> managed to walk around them. That was luck. The game designers wanted me to fucking have to fight through two enemies in this in a small hallway. Two two enemy encounters in a small hallway, but I got one over on them. <sighs> God, this dungeon. I feel like the data seed dungeons are the most linear and just full of regular enemies that you have to fight. I'm not complaining so much about the linearity. I don't like wandering around in the dungeon solving whatever this game thinks is a puzzle, which normally means a maze. And if they're getting fancy, a maze of teleporters. A teleporter's maze. But I'm not i I'm not super big on the You're kidding, right? <laughs> yeah. I am kidding, because I'm teleporting out of this fucking... Where's my... Did I... There. It's like, I thought I had a whole lot of smoke screens, right? Can't open mushrooms with the, with the smoke screen effect still. No! <laughs> Fuck off. If this sums up biting me in the ass with Oban later, I'm gonna be annoyed too. I don't want to fucking fight so many encounters. I don't want to fucking do it, game. We're at the end of the volume. Do you think this is how you you you've been th you're trying to th you're throwing climaxes at me? You're b throwing big story moments at me, and then you're making me wade through fucking two hours of dungeons. It's not the fucking time for this. There were there were plenty of times early in the story where I was like, really, I thought I would have a dungeon here, and instead you just threw cutscene after cutscene after cutscene at me. And I w you know I wasn't complaining at the time. I probably didn't voice. Wow, well, I might have voiced. I, but I probably didn't say, oh man, I was hoping for a- I definitely didn't say, oh man, I was hoping for a dungeon here. That's not anything I would ever say when playing this game. But in hindsight, I wish you would have put a few more enforced dungeons on the main, uh, on the primary storyline earlier if you felt that I needed them. Because right now, I just want to fucking finish the volume. I just want to get- I want to see what Ovon is up to. I want to know if he's actually Tri-Edge. I don't want to spend my fucking life collecting data seeds. <laughs> it's just... Like, I don't know who fucking thought this shit was fun. It's another one. Okay, here it goes. No, it doesn't. Because I got 29 more. I've got 29 more of these things. I mean, they must have thought that the battle, the combat system was engaging. I don't know how. Probably because they, probably because they had, uh, they played some games in the 90s. And they spent like six years making the first hack games. So all of the, all of their like game design principles were stuck in like the mid 90s. They were like, Oh man, people are gonna be so excited this game's in 3D, in full 3D, with 3D environments. They never, they'll never have seen that before because they were like... Final Fantasy VII was just around the corner when they started making the first set of hack games and they just were heads down, heads down in okay, development the whole time. And then as soon as they finished the first, as soon as they finished the first set of games, uh, the quarantine, it's got, I don't think there's a, I think it's just dot hack slash slash and then the four different, it's like quarantine infection something, so people call it by the acronym. So they, they went straight from that into this game and they didn't play any other games in between. So they were like, man, this game is such a huge step up from the first game. If if, if we really blew their socks off of full 3D environments of the first game, <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna think like, wow, they even they even made this because the battle system was probably based on Tales of Fantasia. <laughs> finally, I'm finally in a fucking avatar battle. <laughs> They're really going to be excited for this one. 
We got two different combat. No, there were two different combat systems in the first set too. The first set had uh, Ida battles as well. The Ida battles were pretty similar, if I remember. I remember. Uh, no, no, they weren't. They were like regular enemies, bo boss enemies. They were in they were in the regular combat, but they were like boss enemies, and they were infected. But at the end, the the protect break was pretty much the same. The at, at, at the end, you had to hit him with a you had to hit him with a special skill out of your uh, fuck me out of your uh, out of your skill menu. You had to open up <laughs> open up your skill menu, hit him with a special skill, and then you went to. What I remember the protect break pretty much being the exact same, like hold a. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it well, didn't exist at all. Cutscene was pretty much the same. I hate this. I hate Helen. Hey, look, I managed to get through it. I got. I didn't get hit by any of them. I'm, fi I'm figuring it. I'm figuring out Helen. I'm allowing Helen to become a rote, <laughs> a rote thing. The way, what was it, Emma? I can't remember the first. I can't remember the first Ida battle I had to do over and over again because they only came up with three of them. <laughs> they only came up with three different of these things, and they were like, "Well, if we intersperse them, that's they're gonna figure that out that we only fig came up with three of them." But maybe if we just make them fight the same one over and over again ad nauseum until we give them an upgrade, uh, we give them a next one, they won't notice. <laughs> I mean, they won't notice that we only we only designed three of these. I noticed. <laughs> yeah, but they could have also figured that out. They could have figured that out and been like, you know what? Maybe we should not make them fight so many of these. If we're only gonna make three of these, maybe we should only make we should make them fight like seventeen. <laughs> of each of them. Maybe we should make these a little less common. <laughs> they, they design more than three Ida encounters. Total. Or like Avatar battles. It's the Ida encounters is the ones they only made three of. They made plenty of Avatar battles. All the fun boss battle Avatar battles. Those are cool. But then they, at the end of some boss battles, they didn't, they make me fight Helen. <laughs> like the, the people that were infected with Ida. But weren't, uh, that didn't have epitaphs. Didn't they make me fucking fight these chumps? That's one place they could have cut it out. Have the Ida inf I don't know. Just make me protect break them or something. Without going through the whole rigmarole of this samey combat. <laughs> Looks like the Ida signals for this area. At least the Ida combat never makes me scream at the game. It's one nice thing. Oh, was that all of them I needed? God damn it. Don't give up that item. Give up this item. I, <laughs> I fucking went to the store and I started to. Let's go back to the store and sell off all my equipment before the end of the volume so I don't have to do it at the beginning of the next volume. Motherfucker. <laughs> no fucking give up this one. Oh, Pi, you're back. You're fully recovered. Hooray. Where's the young lady? You're okay now? Are you going to say something? Hello? Hello? Oh. I'm I had to press A. I didn't see it. <laughs> Haseo, I have some new data seeds that I got from Master Yada. Are you alive? You don't sound human. Oh, she came to give me the other one because they finally figured out that their game isn't they fun. <laughs> Master Yada extracted from the data Why is Pi talking like this? <laughs> Yada, is she that you? Are, are you playing Pi's character? To make a fee from Kashta Bajer. So, like literally, literally, they were like, "Oh God!" In Megan Fee, our game sucks. <laughs> they finally fucking figured it out. <laughs> Thirty-five hours in. <laughs> oh man, imagine if I wasn't speed speeding through the cutscenes and stuff. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! 
Where'd the music go? Why is everything so quiet all of a sudden? You. Oh, you sell these things too? I should have bought them from these. This guy. These are so much cheaper. Hold on. The fuck? Did I buy scrolls? Were these... No, not you. Where's the magic? Oh, that was that the magic shop? No. That's the weapon shop. Go to the magic shop real quick. Oh, these are these these better be better. Like how much more expensive they are. Twelve hundred medium. If it says I have five of those in my inventory when I go to the attack shop, I'm gonna be super fucked. I mean, I don't use my money for anything. Oh, that was sell. I went to the sell menu. Alright. <laughs> This game wears me down, man. <laughs> I don't care about anybody's weapons, but my own I already equipped the best weapons I had for myself. Sell it. Get rid of all of this. <laughs> I'll upgrade their weapons in Volume 3 when I'm hanging out with them at some point. I'm sure at some point I'll get some new stuff and I'll be trying to offload it on them. I can keep all my fucking rings, I guess. And I'm gonna kick Matsu out and bring Pi. Matsu, uh, fuck off. Can I bring Pi? Yeah. I can bring Otley too, so Bo, also get out of here. You can both- you- you you two are both no longer necessary. <laughs> I think they might be traumatized. The email made it seem like they did lose consciousness. There was some sort of ordeal. They're not. Uh, no, new save. I think I accidentally forgot to make a new save in one of these episodes. That could have been a catastrophe. <laughs> Just have pie. Oh god, uh, we said we, we 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 made him need two more data seeds, but I was playing through that dungeon, man, and I got to the end and I fought that eye of combat and I didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> ah, fuck. What do we do? <laughs> Make Pi give him one of the data seeds. <laughs> Make Pi show up. It'll be good to let him know that Pi and Otley are conscious now, and he can kick out whatever idiots are in his party. Umliok. Choo- I can't remember any of <laughs> Eternal Darkness. At long last, I'll get to fight Ovan. I'm I made preparations before I came here in the first place, Haseo. I wasn't expecting it to send me here and then send me back on a fucking other dungeon. This is a dungeon. It's what I was afraid of. <laughs> I was afraid that this was going to be a second dungeon. If I hit a save point in this dungeon... <laughs> if I fucking hit a save point in this dungeon... Actually, I hope this is just a staircase. How long are we going to have establishing shots? How, long <laughs> How many establishing shots do we fucking need? They could have teleported in during the last establishing shot. I uh, the, I was staring at this platform rest in all of the establishing shots. Establishing shots. Establishing shots. Okay. I hope Ovon is at the top of the staircase and I don't have to go through a dungeon. If I go through a dungeon, I hope there's no save point. No, Otley! I'm not having fun! What tipped you off? Good. Some more establishing shots. I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't know why people uh, people people praise the OSD for this game so hard. spinning out of And half of these, most of these videos get copyright claimed because of it. Because of the fucking score in this game. I don't know what. I don't. I'm not into it to be honest. Most most of the score is It's just choirs. It's just choirs. The rest of the music is kind of standard fare, it's fine. 
Like, I don't dislike the rest of the music, but <laughs> all the you big the story moments are Kino? just choirs. <laughs> People seem to love it. <laughs> People seem to love the fact that I all the big story the moments in this game is just and the one who gave him heavenly life. choirs. Are you an AI, Ovon? Why? Why would you do that? Don't cry, Haseo. Please, don't cry. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Me? He's crying. <laughs> up strong. Is this your dad? <laughs> Ozzy, is this is Oven your you dad? Something like that? <laughs> something like this? That's not it, Haseo. Everything was part of a necessary process. Hmm. Thanks to you, Shino, and Arcade, and Adelie! She's right there. She's right behind you. I know she might not be. <laughs> Pay for this. <laughs> they put them. They put them way in the back to so that they're not in these shots. But anytime it cuts to a front shot of Haseo, they're just standing in the back there. And he's got a heavy sword. L luckily, I stocked up. Here goes. Luckily, I stocked up on items because I plan to just use them. Nine. That's no good. He's got a shield up. Uh, whoops. It's fine. Don't worry about it. He's just standing here. So he's gonna have a face too. He's not- he's not attacking oddly. I'm not screaming at him. And I'm not having to use items. What is the thing? What is the deal with that? Yeah, I knew it was, I was, I was, I was considering whether I should spam it right there at the end. I had a full morale bar, didn't and I ran through all the rest of the enemies after my morale full bar filled up. They fucking took it from me. They stole my morale bar. I was saving that for this. Fucks. <laughs> it's fine. It's full now. <laughs> I should really just set all my skills. I don't know if I have four skills. I don't think I do. I might. I should just give up on using those. But sometimes I have different status effects. Oh, is he actually is he actually not immune to sleep? I've got sleep and poison on these on these on these on these, on these uh twin swords. Alright, he's got a second. He's now triage. What was the thing I fought? <laughs> oh no! Hey! <laughs> oh, you're taking cutscene damage! <laughs> you're doing cutscene damage to me. Why? He is an AI. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew he was an AI. And he's fighting. He killed Otto. You piece of shit. Alright, she has rep too. She's screaming. Uh, Dark Cloud first. Hit him with it, and then we can re revive Oddly. And then we can Dark Cloud him again. Store neighbor. What is. Oh no. Oh god. All right, 1v1 me, pussy. <laughs> this is no good. <laughs> I wish this- I wish the items weren't on the same fucking cooldown. No, not pie. Uh, 
Oh, his restored neighbors give him back fucking health. Okay, fucking kill me and I'll start over then. God damn it. I was too worried about fucking reviving my own team. I didn't realize that his fucking idiot restore neighbors were refilling his goddamn health. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfuck this fucking game, man. I'll see you at the next cutscene. You don't need to watch this. Alright, this time I just saved up my morale bar until after he switched to Tri-Edge, and then I spit, I hit it as soon as I could, and then as soon as I filled it back up to halfway again, I, sp I hit it again so that I could take, so that it, it apparently just gets rid of his neighbors when you do that, and then uh, when I, the next time it filled up again, his neighbors had just come out, and so then I spammed that morale button again, and... Become strong! <sighs> anyway, I'm back. Welcome, welcome back to the uh, hat goo. I, I defeated Ovan in, in three-on-one combat. I didn't let him fight oddly or, uh... I didn't let him fight oddly. Or... Was that this, was that this vol volume or the first? First volume was Reminisce, right? This one was Rebirth. You, you're an epitaph user? Who are we going to give his epitaph to? Or is he, we're just going to get him as a party member next. The mysterious Haseo's former guild member becomes the less mis from completely unmysterious. He's going to join our party and then he's going to open up and tell us everything about him and we're going to be like, I don't care. <laughs> yes, I, I just did an avatar battle 20 minutes ago game. Thank you for telling me, though. We understand each other. Oh man, I'm always happy to be back in an Ida battle, especially a, a, an Ida boss battle. After doing... I'm always happy to have an Ida boss battle after a regular boss battle. <laughs> Corbinic. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not. I mean, the strategy is always the same, even with the bosses. They have their different. They have, they have an attack. They have just a spam bullets attack. They have a bull, a homing bullets that you have to slash away attack. They have, uh, and they have a dash attack. They have a couple of dash attacks, maybe. They might have a couple of each of those. But those are the three categories of attacks. And then uh, I guess there's the ultimate. They have ultimate, but that's not really. There's no strategy for ultimate. <laughs> you just sit through the cutscene and then mash your buttons. No. I mean, yeah, just this one strategy. Wow, a big, a big bunch of them. But the designs are cool of the bosses. No, you fuck. That's not fair. I, I didn't think you would have iframes. I don't care about this cutscene. <laughs> yes, it's all very cool. You spent a lot of work on it. <laughs> I'm sure Pieros is fucking proud of you. <laughs> it's too many fucking iframes, though. I wish they didn't have so many fucking iframes. And as far- oh, these things shoot- these things have shootings. I was about to say, these are the easiest of the homing missiles I've had to deal with so far, even... The boss is- the boss is really easier than God damn it. Is that all you've got to give? Shut your fucking mouth. I'm tired of this. <laughs> they still have twice as much health as they need to have for... Just give Scape half as much health and give the Ida's half as much health. I would have been happier losing to getting hit with those... Getting hit with those burn it into your eyes attacks. I would have been fine with dying from that if it meant that the second chance it would have been over by now. 
I would have won it by now. Now don't don't get hit by that again. I don't want to. I don't want to die. I don't want to die after getting him halfway. I don't want to. I don't want to have to do this whole thing again. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Is this completely random? <laughs> this attack's completely random. <laughs> it seems to be. Stop! <laughs> fucking stop it! You desire. No. Into your eyes. God damn it. Just fucking stun already. Look how many fucking eyes. It's way too many. Those don't bother me as much as how many he gets in some of his attacks. That, this attack should not be, he shouldn't be invincible. I think they're always, in, that's all eye to combat, they're invincible during their rush attacks. They shouldn't be. If I'm this close to getting him, uh, if I'm this, if, see, his fucking, stop it! If I'm this close, if I'm this close to fucking stunning him, then he shouldn't be allowed to just get out of it by dashing at me. It's bullshit. Especially if they're gonna fucking dash at me six times in a row. We understand each other. No, we don't. Oh, Vaughn, you're a creepy old man, and I shouldn't have allowed myself. I shouldn't have allowed myself to be groomed by you. <laughs> And Shino. Shino's probably a middle-aged woman. You two are it's one of those pedophile teens. Go around grooming young boys. <laughs> it's your weird sex cult. You called the Twilight Brigade. <laughs> Sir, I assume that's what the anime is about. <laughs> oh, so getting sex trafficked. <laughs> God damn it. I'm about to die. If he gets another ultimate off, I don't think I'll survive it. Thank Christ. That's not enough, though. I need another one. I need to stun him one more time. We understand each other. No, we don't. We don't understand anything. Oh fuck. Into your eyes. Come on, come on, don't do it twice in a row. God damn it. If he had mm. There. Oh, God. I'm still not out of the woods. He can kill me during this protect break. Data drain attempts. Oh no, he can't. Never mind. Thank God. I thought you still had the health bar up during. Uh. Oh man, fucking nightmare. The nightmare would have been if I had died just then. I'm relieved. That was that was uh, that was tense. Those Ida paddles are good for tension, at least. Without uh, screaming. No, this is pie. I stop. <laughs> put your idle anime. Both of you, put your idle animations away. <laughs> the battle's over. What do you mean? You told me to do this. You told me to kill you. Oh, whatever. After, after chasing down Triage for all this time. Stop crying. <laughs>
Congratulations, Haseo. Uh, Yata. Was he Oven this whole time, too? Yata! You know he play as alt characters. Thrilled. And this one is the one that's... Well, no, but he was having a conversation with... Uh, Dearest wish... This? With Ovan in, in a cutscene that Haseo wasn't privy to earlier, so. The truth you sought so long after is now firm. He still could have been an AI. The truth, huh? Hmm. Well, I still don't know who I fought. Do you think that she. And the clones. And the lost ones were able to return to the real world? I hope not. That we have a whole other volume ahead of us. <laughs> managed to PK Triage. Yeah. You have merely caught a tiny glimpse of Triage's truth. I don't think that's. It's not like he's not a Did vampire. Think <laughs> that would be enough to save the girls. <sighs> now you understand. <laughs> Just because you've PK'd your You should have just been working for me this whole time. Instead of running around with your little triage quest. If you want to grow up and, and do what I say. That's what this cutscene is. That's what volume three will be. Working for Yada. Guess. Guess. We don't guess around here. That is why we must find out precisely what Ida is and how it works. Mm-hmm. In order to finally know all the facts, the truth of what has happened in this world. Okay. Sure. That's fine. <laughs> My fight is over. But then, what's really changed since I began? Your fight's not really over, though. That's what he just told you. I wasn't able to save anyone. I'm tired. Shino. I'm mm, good. For now, I just want to go back to the real world and rest. Is there going to be a time skip before the next episode? <laughs> One year later. I skip these. I can't remember. Okay, yes, I can. I can't skip those. I uh, don't. I don't have any 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 rambling to do over the credits, and I don't want to just walk away and let that whole section get copyrights claimed. Don't want that. I don't recall inviting guests to visit. I don't remember who you are at all. <laughs> Being honest, seen you. I know I've talked to you. I think you were the guy that had a voice on the pier, and I was like, why does this guy have a voice? I don't know who this is. Okay, I don't care about Crimson Versus. Hopefully that'll reset in Volume 3, and it'll make me click it again to oddly. Blah, 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 A request. We're not done. Adelie, Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Okay, I gotta go back to that place. Been there before. That where we had our date with Audley in Volume One. <laughs> oh man! Teleport to Doldona so I can teleport to Mak Anu. So shut up, Haseo. I just read the email five seconds ago. <laughs> I guess you should always save. Never know when cata there's never been, there hasn't been a catastrophe. About, you know, 32 ep this is episode 32 overall. There's yet to be a catastrophe when playing this game, but you know. I would hate have to go through all those combat <laughs> all that combat again. You wouldn't have to go through it again. I would. Makes it even worse. Well, this is the place we've been going to since the very beginning. Place where not try edge, where we met not try edge. You know, them reflections. That's what they were banking on this time. They were like, we even got reflections. They'll never have seen this <laughs> by 2006. 
when they finally lifted their heads up and released this game. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're gonna say something, huh? Say you came here. <laughs> What's wrong? Did something happen? Am I am I not allowed to see <laughs> without a reason? Come on. That's not what I mean. <clears throat> Nobody's gonna say anything. See, there's a tri edge sign here too. Yeah, we might call that the original tri edge sign. If Ovon was really just leaving those around to taunt me, then it probably is the original tri edge sign. This is the place where Sheena was PK'd by Ovon. This sign formed here, and then she fell into a coma. <laughs> After fighting Ovan, I went to see Shino in the hospital. <sighs> she was no better than she was before. Oh, he went and confirmed that they that uh, Yada wasn't lying to him. FMVs. It's FMV time. What time is it? It's FMV time. <laughs> I... I... Haseo, I want to say... Oh, God. I always forget, uh, uh, F and V oddly looks like a sim. What is that? What's oh, wrong? It's triage behind him. <laughs> a real triage. I was expecting the, the fake triage. What's the point of this? What is the point of this? Don't kiss me, please. <laughs> I don't want to be kid. I was I was just joking about you. <laughs> okay, all right. Strong enough to destroy me. Oh, that's why he was upset because I didn't actually destroy him. Okay, cliffhangered. I guess I shouldn't didn't have to be too worried about what was gonna happen when when they made me go to Audley because they already gave me a credit sequence. Uh, give me another one. Once there used to be a goddess statue here. Is this something you talked to me about before? It's a recap. Oh, that no, this is a this is a this is your preview of the next. Get excited! Get excited about the next. Hell. It sounds like Oddly's also fine. Whatever just happened at the end, it obviously wouldn't take Hase out because Ovon was like, yeah, kill me, kill, get stronger. So he wasn't going to just kill Hase out there. <laughs> that would be quite a twist, though. Now we play as only Hase. Now we switch gears. We play as K-Word for the rest of the game. <laughs> and I know he didn't do anything to Oddly because she was just crying in the... <laughs> In the preview. But the terror of death is your avatar. You can't get rid of it. Extension that surpasses the system parameter. This is the X. All right. Make this world what it is. After all, I don't think that's a fr oh, new characters to meet. Wait, what is this? Uh, no, these are. I don't know what these. These are just some German words. <laughs> some random German words for flavor. <laughs> I don't feel like you needed to put so much into that preview. And I will finish this once and for all. Right. <laughs> so he's the final boss too. We've now confirmed Ovon will be the final boss. He'll turn into a big angel or something. All right, <laughs> that was uh, volume two of Hat Goo. See you next week for volume three, episode one of Hat Goo on JRPG Time. <laughs>